just in time for Valentine's strawberry milkshake cookies. Hey y'all, it's April. Thanks for stopping by my crazy creative life. In today's video, this is treat two or snack two of the 14 days of Valentine's. And we are making something very simple. Doesn't take a lot of ingredients. They are strawberry shortcake, I mean, sorry, strawberry milkshake cookies. All you do is take one box of a strawberry cake mix. So you take the full package, put into your bowl. To that, you're gonna add one teaspoon of cornstarch and one teaspoon of baking powder. One third cup of vegetable oil, or I guess oil of choice. Two large eggs, preferably at room temperature. Recipe calls for a half teaspoon of uh, vanilla extract. I put in one teaspoon of vanilla extract because I'm a little extra, I guess. <laughs> then, um, before I put my chocolate chips in there, I thought I better go ahead and mix this up first. And I did with my wire whisk, but I think I kind of regret doing it with the wire whisk. So just mix it with either a silicone or a wooden spoon. But I still would mix that briefly. You want to get most of it incorporated before you put your chocolate chips in. Then it calls for one cup of white chocolate chips. You can, I honestly forgot to do this. No, that's not what happened. I used the other rest of my bag. But you can once you've got your cookies on your pan right before you put them in the oven you can add a few more chocolate chips on top it's not required but you can just for i guess aesthetic purposes <laughs> make it look pretty all right now this is what i've done because i've done something similar to this back at christmas time and i thought i'm never going to make another cookie dough recipe without doing it this way unless you know i absolutely can't but all i've done was just dumped it all out on a parchment paper on a sheet of parchment paper then i'm going to kind of roll the parchment paper around around the cookie dough and all i'm doing i'm just kind of squeezing and pulling it down as i sort of gently squeeze and i am pressing that cookie dough pulling it down and what I'm essentially doing is making like a, a round log a cookie dough, kind of like what you get at the grocery store. And you just work with it until you get it where you think it's, you know, the right size log, I guess you could call it. And of course, the paper was starting to bunch on me, so I had to open it back up. And then I'm taking my spatula and my hands and finishing the shaping of the cookie dough log. So they won't be perfectly round, but they're close enough. So I'm just wrapping my parchment paper back around it. All the while still trying to keep it somewhat in that round shape the best I can. I'm just twisting the ends that way air doesn't get in. And I'm putting that in my refrigerator out in my garage for I'll have this out in the fridge for at least an hour if you can keep it in there overnight that that would be better um, but at least an hour maybe even two hours but let them get real good and chilled you can even put it in your freezer for probably about 20 minutes too so now I've taken them out of the refrigerator and I'm just removing the parchment paper and I'm just slicing them in little slices I probably should have started in the middle and made it more even, but I did not. <laughs> I 
but look, I mean, this is so much easier to roll it up in that parchment paper. And then all you have to do is cut them up. To me, it's a lot easier than trying to scoop them. I don't know why that seems easier to me, but it does. And then I'm just setting them on my pan. This is my extra large cookie sheet, jelly roll sheet, whatever you want to call it. So this is going to hold a little bit more if you have just a standard size. Um, don't think that something's wrong. It's just that that holds more. You're going to bake these on a preheated or in a preheated oven. It, you want to preheat it to 350 degrees. Now, some of these you're going to see are big. Um, some of them I even cut down a little bit because they were seemed to be extra big. Those that were in the middle. But because some of these were bigger, I had to bake them a little bit longer. I started out at 10 minutes and when they were finished, I want to think I put them on for two, it was either two or three more minutes. I believe it was two, but you don't want to over bake them. You don't want them, you really don't even want them brown around the edge. If you do, then you probably over bake them. You just want them, and I'll show you here in a little bit. You just want them a very light golden color on the bottom. So about 12 minutes should do. If they're thinner or smaller, then you might want to go 10 minutes. All right, let's go to the oven. So in the oven they go, like I said, 350 degrees. I did these for, I believe it was 12 minutes, but I started out at 10. So don't think I'm telling you wrong here when you see that 10. And now I'm pulling them out of the oven. Look how pretty those are. And gosh, they smelled so good. But see, they're not really brown. They, they're puffed up. For the most part, they look done on the top. They There was a few spots that looked maybe a slight bit wet, but I figured they were probably okay. Now, you want to let these cool on the counter in the pan for probably about 10 minutes. Otherwise, you're going to run the risk of when you try to take your spatula and scoop them off the pan, they run together. You know, they'll smush up together and then they won't be as pretty. But look at that. I thought I captured a picture. Apparently, I didn't. But after you let them cool on your countertop for 10 minutes, put them on a cooling cookie rack, cooling rack. Well, see, there's the brown part. I mean, it's just a very light golden brown on the bottom. And then once they cool, then you're going to store them in an airtight container. My guess would be a week. They might last two weeks. I don't know, but I would say at least a week. But in my house, they're probably not even going to last a week. So, that's it. I hope you like this short video. Um, this is just a very quick Valentine Day snack for whatever, you know, kids' school or church or just for your family. And if you like strawberry, that is really, really good. And then it's got that white chocolate chip in it. I had taken some to my parents later that night when I made them and oh they just talked about how good they were so that's it um I hope you like the video give me a like give me a thumbs up if you would please and go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you would and become a part of our crazy little family and I will be uploading more valentine treat videos so subscribe and turn on the notification bell that way you know when they are done so anyway I hope you all have a blessed rest of your day and I will talk to you in the next one bye Hey, if you like this video, you may want to check out my previous video or my previous series. Talk to you soon.